Hi everyone, this is Janet, aka J. Witty. I hope you all are having a great day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm working on a 12 by 24 stretched canvas. And this particular canvas had a few little wonky spots in it. So I did spray the back down with some water and allow for it to dry in hopes that, you know, I was able to smooth those spots out a bit. Um, still had some trouble with some of the corners. So I figured I'd go ahead and use this particular canvas for a swipe. And the base coat that I'm laying down actually, um, was intended for another type of pour. And unfortunately, it just didn't yield the results that I had been hoping for. It was going to be for the um, cloud pearl effect. And so it's Artist Loft Flow White Deco Art Satin Enamel. And I think I may have added a little too much water to yield the right effect. So my test tile didn't turn out right. So in my frustration with that, along with a color that I tried to custom blend that didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, I kind of scrapped that whole idea entirely, gave myself a day, and then came back into my studio. And now I'm sitting here looking at this mixture of a base coat that I mixed up and I didn't really want it to go to waste. So I decided I'll go ahead and do a swipe uh, using the base coat and add some folk art metallic silver sterling to it to uh, come up with this really pretty light gray color for uh, the base coat. And the colors that I'm going to be laying down today are the Deco Art uh, Americana Metallics Pewter. It's a gorgeous color. Absolutely love it. Uh, the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Berry. And then the Deco Art Extreme Sheen Rose Quartz. And the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics White Pearl mixed with some Folk Art uh, Metallic Pearl White. And it's just a really pretty color combination. So um, all of those are listed in the description box down below, along with my uh, pouring mediums. Uh, you'll see what I used initially for the, the base. Um, the only thing I did different was just add um, the uh, Folk Art Metallic Sterling Silver. I'm sorry, I'm trying to check my notes as I'm talking. So all of that's in the description box, so please feel free to have a, a peek at that if you'd like. Um, just be careful when you add water, <laughs> because sometimes you can add a little too much and you're not gonna yield the results you're hoping for. But anyways, I figured this would be a great uh, little experiment to see what happens when you have actually uh, some of the satin enamel in your base coat and uh, do a swipe because I don't think I've ever done a swipe previously that had any kind of satin enamel in it. So um, I'm using paper towels that I have uh, dampened to uh, swipe with and then I do some tilting and then I do some palette knife work on this piece. So it doesn't look like much from your viewpoint um, but at the end I take you in for a close-up and the details are really, really amazing. There's some really pretty intricate um, detail in this piece. Um, so I was really pleased with my end result. Um, it, it, it dried the, the it's just really kind of shimmery and it's just so pretty. So anyways, stick around. If you don't want to watch the whole process, feel free to fast forward to the end for the close up if you'd like. And again, like I said, I, I'm glad that uh, you're here. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell for uh, future uploads. And until next time, guys, stay safe, take care, and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.